A British backpacker has become the first person to be killed by a sea snake in Australia. Harry Evans, a 23-year-old from Poole in Dorset, died on Thursday just two hours after being bitten by the reptile as he pulled in a fishing net. He had been working on a fishing trawler off the Northern Territory, near the remote island of Groot Island. It is thought he would have survived if he had received the anti-venom in time, but it was not readily available. A rescue helicopter was dispatched from Darwin, around 435 miles away, but Harry had passed away before they could get to him. It had understood the young man was working on the boat to earn money to help fund his travels and was nearing the end of shift when he was bitten on his finger. One of his fellow shipmates told Mirror Online, I'm aware he was tying his cot and the string in the nets we tie to hold the bags closed and the black ring sea snake unluckily was in the bag he tied. It took two hours for his body to shut down and his crew supported and comforted in the best way they could possibly do. His skipper is a great man, well experienced, and he followed all procedures possible to save the man's life, but unfortunately these bites are fatal. Sea snakes are venomous, but are not considered to be aggressive, unless provoked and attacks are rare. The snake, believed to be a black-ringed sea snake, is understood to have become aggressive as it was trapped in the net. Harry's friends soon took to social media to express their grief and shock at his sudden death. George Jackson Carter wrote, You were one of the most kind-hearted and funniest people I've ever met. Always made everyone laugh and smile Tobias Snow wrote, What a massive shock. Had many of laughs with him and his brother back in the day. Gino Cohen added, such a shock. He was such a good lad. We'll never forget that smile of his. The Foreign and Commonwealth Office said, we are supporting the family of a British man who had died in the Northern Territory and are in contact with the Australian authorities.